late or sort of around the autumn of 1998, you enter into a feud with my favourite all-time wrestler, the British Bulldog. Mm -hmm. And it's fair to say that the Bulldog was not in his greatest frame of mind at the time. But can you talk about Davy Boy Smith at that point and the matches you had and how you thought they all went? Well, like you said, he was a shadow of himself, you know. I mean, that was very sad to see um, what he, what uh, struggles he had, personal struggles, you know. Um, for me, it was actually um, very special to step in the ring with him because he was trained by the same trainer like my dad was trained by Mr. Ted Bedlin. They came from the same wrestling school, mm. They're the British Bulldogs. So it was a very special moment for me and was also very special because he, as a, two European wrestlers, you know, wrestle in front of the American crowd, you know, um, and could show what they could do. But since he had those personal problems, um, he wasn't that good like he used to be. And I was very sad. So it was, there was, he was limited, you know. What could he? Uh, what could he still do in 1998? That was like the bulldog of old, old that you encouraged him to. Do. I mean, he was still very, very strong, of course, and of course, yeah, the the ring psychology is still going, but there were some certain things, you know, his body couldn't take all kind of moves anymore, and um, on occasions he he uh, forgot something in a match or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. just being because of those personal problems. You know, and I, I, I always thought, why, uh, why didn't did not uh, anybody from the WCW office just reach out and help that guy? You know, because mm-hmm. it was obvious he had big problems. You know. Yeah, uh, there's a very famous match at Fall Brawl 1998, the pay per view. You and Disco Inferno are wrestling Davy Boy and Jim Neidhart. You know what I'm going to ask? Uh, it's the match where the Ultimate Warrior was going to appear in the uh, war games door. yeah, in, through the trapdoor. What were you told about the trapdoor beforehand, or was well, it even brought up? No. I cannot recall that anybody told us they were, there was a trapdoor. And um, that was very bad because he gorilla pressed me and slammed me right on it. And he didn't know. And I, I thought I, I, I broke in half. You know? And I, I, he injured himself also in that match. So that was very... Um, Oh, what's the word? Well, just an unhappy situation all around. It it sounds like. Uh, what was the very dorm- responsible? Not not very responsible from the office. Not you know, telling us okay here in that area you shouldn't take any bumps. Hmm. Did uh, WCW ever do anything like this in any other matches where they would create a dangerous environment to wrestle in and then not tell you? No, not really. No. Okay then. No. What was the so? What was the, was the problem that the door was made out of like wood, or was there like a handle on it, or something that you landed I don't know on? What it, I, I don't know what it was made of. It, it was just unbelievable hard. It felt like like concrete. <laughs> <Or steel. laughs> I mean, it was really hard. 